thank you for the warm introduction. On behalf of the city of Cape Town, the mother city, I would like to welcome all of you. It's quite intimidating to see all of the young faces here today, but of course you are the future, but you're also the present. And you know, we can, we can honor our past and we can think about our past, but as young people, you have got the opportunity to shape and to design your own future. And I think that's why we are here today. I would like to thank Amazon for selecting Cape Town for this conference. But before I do that, let me just acknowledge uh, some of the leaders here. I would like to welcome Dr. Werner Fogels, Amazon Technical Officer, Chief Technical Officer. I would also like to welcome Mike Needham, Head of Solution Architecture, Russia, Middle East and Africa. Peter Ricks, who is the Chief Techn uh, Technical Officer from APSA. There's also Chris uh, Short, General Manager and in Information Technology from Pick and Play. And then of course David de Villiers, CEO of Zappa. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you here today. Thank you for choosing Cape Town to host this important event. And I want to just tell you that you are in the right place at the right time, because you are in the digital city of Africa. And that's why we are so proud to have you here today. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have got the most tech up startups in the whole of the continent. So Cape Town, and because of all the brains in front of you, all these young minds, it's you that are shaping the future. And we're also pleased to be hosting this gathering with various South African stakeholders about the AWS ecosystem where customers can receive information on architecture, best practice, and also new cloud services. One of our key um, transformational priorities in the city of Cape Town includes that we, for, that we want to see technological progress in our city. In fact, in the way we govern the city today, we always look for technological solutions to our problems. We overlay all our decisions that we make to say, is there a technological solution that we can use? Because the world is changing on a daily basis. So embracing this disruptive forces of technology and hosting the leading companies in innovation, minds such as yourself, is vital for the city of Cape Town to make these priorities that we set for ourselves a reality. Now while Cape Town are the digital city of Africa, we're always pushing the boundaries. I always say to the people in the city, the world owes us nothing. We need to go out there and get it and we need to find the best and bright minds to help us to govern our city. Just briefly, there are two issues that are determining the future of the world today. Cities are the drivers of change in the 21st century. And cities are affected by two issues. The one is urbanization, and the second one is the digital innovative space that is coming into this world. Cape Town has grown more than 30% in the past 10 years. We are bursting out of our seams. But we also need technology solutions to manage urbanization. Because people are migrating to the city to look for opportunities. And so the techno technological space is important because that is where we're going to find innovation to manage it. So, of course, we have to make a contribution as government to the growth of our city, but to also putting our city in a space whereby we can attract 
the right investment, the right brains, the right innovation. And so I see my role as the mayor of the city of Cape Town to make sure that there's proper infrastructure in our city, that the water must run, that the electricity must be on, that we have got proper roads, there are no potholes in the roads. And so as a city, we invest 6.5 billion rand every year in infrastructure. And we then split it up to spend 60% of that 6 billion on new infrastructure, but also 40% we spend on maintaining and repairing old infrastructure. And that is why you see the infrastructure in Cape Town is in such a good condition because that is how we invest our money. But that is our contribution to economic growth in our city. And by injecting that six billion rand into the economy, we're hoping to see a crowding in effect by the private sector to further grow our economy. And that is why we have invested into the rollout of fiber optic cable for broadband in our city. We have rolled up more than 800 kilometers. And when this project... <laughs> and when this project is finished by 2021, we would have rolled up 1,300 kilometers of fiber optic cable. So we have got enough capacity within government. We've connected our schools, our libraries, our clinics. But we also have extra capacity. And we have been renting out that extra space to the private sector. And by doing that, we've stimulated healthy competition there because now they can use the infrastructure of the city. So inside all city buildings, Wi-Fi free. Outside city buildings, we have got partnerships with companies like Orange and Mwed, and they use our infrastructure to provide that free Wi-Fi outside. But to further uh, complement our infrastructure budget, we have just gone two weeks ago to the market with the city's first inaugural green bonds for one billion rand. And our bonds have been oversubscribed already. We are going to auction on the 12th of July. And again, as to raise their funding to selling green bonds um, with accredited projects. So when people buy our green bonds, the projects that we will be funding with that money in infrastructure, the projects have been approved by Moody's, it's been graded by Moody's, Moody's gave us an excellent GP1 grading. The Climate Change Institute has also graded our bonds. And together with that, Cape Town's own credit rating is the highest in the country at AAA ZA. So we're very hopeful that we will get that billion rand and it's going to help us to further roll out more infrastructure. I just want to quickly uh, share with you some of the investment that we have made into, into high tech uh, and IT. For from the city itself, we have got an open data portal. One of five cities in the world with an open data portal. And on that open data portal, we've made available 92 sets of data, government data, in a readable format. And so we are really looking at all of the, 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 the innovation here today. We are looking to see, and we're hoping that some bright entrepreneur will use some of that data, develop some applications that we can use to make government more efficient and effective. Another investment that we have made uh, before that, we also run hackathons with that data. And so we, we will be hosting some more of that. And we, I hope that some of you can join us. And then lastly, um, the investments that we've made. One such uh, 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 um, special purpose vehicle that we are investing in is the city of Cape Town. It's called the Cape Innovation and Technology Initiative.
I'm sure some of you are aware about it. It's based at the Bandwidth Barn. And this facility, sponsored and hosted by the City of Cape Town, um, is home to innovation clusters and hubs such as the Barclays Rise, you can find them there, um, an acceleration center for tech entrepreneurs working in the financial technology. And then Cape Town was selected as the African capital for Barclays Rise, thereby making our city the fourth global site after New York, London, and Manchester. So, we're also investing in training young unemployed people in our city, and there are many of them, as you can know, from, especially from underprivileged backgrounds. And so they have received training and scarce skills in IT, but they've also now received training and coding. So this is our contribution towards growing this sector because this is really the future, the future of the world. But what I also want to do is to not only grow the IT sector in the city of Cape Town, but when I one day retire, I want to leave behind to all of you, the young people, a city with the necessary infrastructure where you can just build on that. And therefore, we are so proud that Amazon is, is already established in our city. I always, wherever I go around the world, I say, you know, Amazon is already in the city of Cape Town. And that you are hosting the second year today. And if there's anything that we can help, and all of you here in this room, if there's anything that you want to know about the city's contribution to developing the sector, I've got a one-stop shop in my office, where you one stop and you will get all the information that you need. You know, governments normally send you from pillar to post. I've got a one-stop shop, you stop there, the mayor's office first, and we give you all the information. So I want to wish you well for today, and thank you once again to Amazon for choosing Cape Town, and God bless, have a lovely day.